First, America's already been destroyed. Trump talking about make America great again. Let him ask the Indians to tell him when America was great. I ain't no more the game y'all playing. Huh? Dick, move in a little closer to the line. Speak up a little bit, you're on speaker. Move in a little closer. Did you hear him, John? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm hearing John, are you there? Yes, yes, I okay. hear him. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Go ahead, Dick. I live in a country, John, that talk about the humane society. But they're not talking about people, they're talking about animals. Okay? America will take a flamethrower and burn another human being up. Are y'all crazy? A flamethrower. And burn houses down and hear people screaming. But as long as it's not happening to you, well, let me something, I'll figure it out. I went to Budapest last year. First class round trip. $42,000 plus 12% taxes. Okay? So they take my money and buy all the filthy stuff so when that universal come down and says, I got to go too, I sit here and pay for these thugs to drop bombs on women and children. So when they drop them on mine, I'll just say, what took y'all so long? So y'all think y'all clean, you're dirty, filthy, all of us, okay? But you think you're clean, they think they're clean. You're not clean. If I stole Bev's house tonight, and lived in it. They're not going to arrest my children. They didn't steal nothing. But after they move in and start living with us like we do with the Indians, then you going to, okay? Now, you play all the games you want to play. I've spent millions of dollars for the civil rights movement. That ain't going to get me through. That ain't going to get me through at all. There's a universal God that says... I told one of my grandchildren the other day, I came them to the zoo two weeks ago. I said, see that giraffe? They're the same God that made that, made you. See that thing over there? God made that. Now, let's go to the slave museum. They got me tied around my neck, pulling me. They decide when I'm going to the toilet, when I'm going to have sex, when I'm going to eat. And y'all don't know that slavery God made them, then and put them here for you to tie them up and all that and hold dogs in your house. you going to be with your dogs and your animals, wherever that cracker slave owner go, you're going to be with that one. Then you'll find out. Then you'll find out. That's how it works. That's how it works. It's that simple. The lines are open at one eight four four three seven zero talk So, Dick, what do we do? You know... Congresswoman Maxine Waters has asked folks to consider impeachment, and people are saying that's never going to happen. What do you think? It ain't your business. You think it's your business? She's going to ask somebody to impeach white folks? Think about that. See, why don't we do stuff that we know? Why don't we look at God and say, tell me what to do? One of the great stories my mama worked for, rich white folks. And I didn't like to go with her because she wanted us to cut grass. I'm not a grass cutter, Mom. Hmm? So she said, well, why don't you come out at 10 o'clock? Because that's when them rich folks leave. I came out. She said, see that bookshelf over there? There's books in that. That white folks would be killed if they caught them with it. Here's the key. When I go out on the porch and wash the stuff, you open it up and look. In the first book I opened up, first book I opened up was about Napoleon. And here, babe, listen to me. Back in them days, there was no addresses or telephones. How did he get an army? He went out in the wilderness, and he was famous as Napoleon because we keep overlooking things. Huh? We keep overlooking things. All we see is who they tell us to see. 
but he's the one that go out through the wilderness. And if you was 15 years old and you fit his mental thing, you was recruited in the army. If you was 100 years old and fit, so he runs across this lumberjack. And he started crying. He ran across a guy. A guy. I'm wondering if this is what is wrong with us, that we've moved away from God. No, we ain't never had God. No damn slave, no God. I'm I'm not talking about slavery. I'm not talking about slavery, Dick. I'm talking about our true experience with God. Did we give God up so that we could be loved by people who enslave us? If you have a true experience with God, you ain't going to never make it. God don't talk. God's invisible. You get in your car tonight and the trees be blowing and you say it's going to be a hell of a storm. All you got to do is shut up and listen. And then you'll be out of it. That's what it's about. Okay? That's what happened. I heard Leo told me something today and my son met me at the airport. He said, there's a big thing fixing to happen for you. I said, oh. He said, yeah. Now, hear this good. They take people, and they put 3,000 people on them for five years. And the way they picked me is they was doing stuff on the Kennedys. And the guy said, hey, you know what? If Dick Gregory shows up on everything we do on Kennedy, let's do him, okay? Five years, I didn't know anything about it. He's one of the brilliant researchers in the world. They told Lil today, we've been working on him for five years. We got his dad's huh, draft records. I didn't even know my dad had been. When they come after you with the right money, huh, they get anything they want. Yes. And so now it's fixing to come out. And they told me all the stuff. God knows stuff about you you don't know. Okay? And just shut up and listen. How can I believe in God and I say down and pray to God my mortgage is due? What God do you know that made everything but didn't know your mortgage is due? Oh, crazy. Huh? All you got to do is say, and stop talking to God like he's some damn king. Talk to him like he's mother, she's mother, he's father of the whole world. And all this gay stuff people talking about, when the universal God put this planet here, it wasn't no men, just women, known as the Morphodite gods. You sit here with all this ignorance and think you're going to figure out something that you don't qualify. Dad, you can be the greatest brain surgeon in the world. All I qualify to do is listen to you. I don't qualify to talk to you. You don't qualify to talk to God. That's why he keeps saying, shut up and listen. But we can't do that. We so busy doing this and doing that. Here's a God that put the whole planet together. And all it says is humble yourself, not be afraid. Humble yourself. And had King not been willing to die, the planet would have been different. And one of the fine people, if I had to write down 20 people that's ever lived in the history of the planet, number one would be John Brown, okay? Where's Jesus? This is my list. Jesus sent God here to die for my sins, your sins. John Brown wasn't sent here to die for your sins. He wasn't sent here with a challenge. He took his two sons with him to Harper's Ferry. I'll die. You can't get no blacker than me, and I can't be. I don't have to be validated. But I wouldn't take my sons with me. He did. And watch them die. And he was wounded. Now, I want you to hear this. Harper's Ferry is where the United States government made their bullets and their rifles. Four divisions was guarding Harper's Ferry every day. He went there with 25 people, five blacks, and the rest of them was white. And when you looked at the, you know, uh, 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 Fox, the comic, but did 
un, un jangle. That was the story of the first brother that died at Harper's Ferry. Okay? And then what happened, they put him on trial, John Brown. John Brown. And found him guilty. And then they tell you about he was crazy because he went up to Kansas. But what they didn't tell you, Kansas was the first state that said death to the abolitionists. And when they killed that man, John Brown and his posse went to Kansas and killed 13 people. But they didn't tell you who they was. The 12 jewelers and the judge scared them so bad they rescinded that law in a week. Okay? Stuff go on and go on and go on. People to do, and you said nothing. Why? Why? Well, you didn't qualify what black. If you ask me what are you to do, don't say black, but what am I? You mean the drug addicts out there? You mean the thieves and the hustlers and the murderers? Huh? You mean go to jail and just because they black, they qualify? Huh? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. You don't go to a brain surgeon that haven't finished school. So why are you going to put that burden on some black person out there that can't read or write? Huh? Do you know... Do you know there's a doctor in Italy can cure any form of cancer you got with baking soda, huh? With baking soda. Tomorrow, I'll finish up. There's a black doctor from San Francisco, from, from uh, 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 Southern California, that not only got a cure to tell me about no damn Africa, this brother got a cure for cancer and HIV and got a patent on it. So tomorrow when you wake up, you call the patent office and tell you to give you the patent, and they'll give it to you. Just because you don't know it or I don't know it don't mean it ain't here. Hello. Okay? And you will have that. The first time I did it on the show, and I said, you black folks, you don't need the number. You know, just get it and play the lottery with it. This is what's here. It's already here. And because somebody don't know it don't mean nothing, God say vengeance is mine. Yeah. I'll send you an article tomorrow. Coral Reefs, been here ever since the planet, trillions of years. Eighty percent of all the coral reefs have disappeared. Why? Because suntan, your lotion. Okay? These white folks, if that'll do that to coral reefs that God made, what do you think is doing to them? God say, leave me alone. I'll take care of this, okay? Yes. Okay? Now, you go and look at drugs. The number one drug state in America is Utah. God don't have to whisper nothing in your ear. There is mamas. Ain't no poor folks out there. Few black folks. Okay? Number one. Okay? Number two, Vermont. Okay? But they can tell you anything about what we doing. Y'all worrying about black boys wearing their pants below their butt. The folks that killed Jesus didn't wear their pants below their butt. Hitler and them didn't wear their pants. These cops that'll blow your brains up don't wear their pants below their butt. And then one day when you realize more black folks tonight will die from sugar diabetes and high blood pressure than will OD on hard drugs in the next five years. So don't bring that stuff to the table. Just leave it alone. This is where you are. People listen to you. They're scared to call. They call somebody else. They do this and they do that. Just because the New York Times don't say it don't mean it didn't happen. How many people got stuff? White folks listen to you and say, where is this thing going? Where is this thing going? I heard something on, 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 on Miss Smith. Okay, that's what happens. And when you have to know that when you go to sleep. Go to sleep. How many times have your mother been sick and everybody thought the worst and she here? How many times somebody called you and said, my girlfriend was driving the so-and-so and hit a tree? That ain't yeah. your business. Okay? This is who you are. And the mightiest nation in the world with technology that nobody has, you in the midst of them. People, I'll tell you how many times I pull over on the side of the road 
and listen to you. Huh? You say, wow, 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 what a blessing. That's who you are. And because you don't know it, I remember the great thing about going to school after I got grown. The little girl didn't have no breasts, no legs, no nothing, black and nappy hair. And everybody hated her because she thought she was cute. If you thought she was cute, you were cute. And all the Hello. boys were chasing her. Huh? When I got blues. You. Blues. You going to listen to blues? I ain't never listened to no blues. My baby done left me. Are y'all crazy? I'm singing that at nine years old. I ain't never seen a naked woman. But I'm singing. My baby done left me. And then a black person going to sit around talking about Blue Monday. You going to take God day and make it blue because something's wrong with you. And I'll leave you with this. We, black folks, is just as sexist as white folks and don't even know it. Now, let me tell you what I mean by that. Jazz, jazz. I wouldn't listen to jazz for nothing. And they was my best friends because when I hit big, they was my opening act. But Nina Simone cussed out a whole state. Name a black jazz artist that ever uttered a word about Mississippi or Georgia. Yeah. And Billy Holiday told the whole world. Yeah, strange Mrs. fruit. Lightning. Okay? Yeah. But nobody wants to talk about that. Not about that woman or them. They just talk about these jazz guys. And you ain't never, as long as you've been in this game, and I know how long you've been in, you ain't never heard a jazz black artist on their lunch break when they're talking to you talk about the horror of Mississippi and Georgia and Alabama. And when they do, they want to whisper. Huh? Billy Holiday didn't want to listen. She did it. And I remember the first black woman that won the Academy Award. What was the movie, Gone with the Wind? Yes. Hattie McDonald? Hattie McDonald. Yes. And I heard a news guy interview her. He said, Miss, congratulations on, on winning an Academy Award for the first time that a black person won. How do you feel with all your talent, but they only let you do made parts? You know what that wench said? I'd rather play one than be one. And then 10, 15 years later, I hit big and met her in Hollywood. Oh, Dick, oh, yeah, no, no. Let me tell you something. I heard you. Ninety percent of black women was maids. Huh? You was playing one. But them maids like my mama wasn't in Hollywood hoeing around, screwing everybody until they could get a part. Good Christian woman. And you going to say something like that. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. That's what this is about. And it can't wear you down because you see something shaking their head. That's the wind coming from God. Okay? The shadow that scares me. All Trump is is a shadow. And every night when the sun go down, the shadow disappears. And y'all yes. gonna be scared of that punk? Scared of that punk? Something ain't right. Here's a guy mock of a, a mentally retarded newsman and his boys mentally retarded. Huh? Well you know you dealing with a fool. But why y'all act like he ain't a fool? Why y'all act like he's something he's not? I tell people every day, I've got to give you white folk credit. Because if a black woman had a baby as ugly as Trump, he would have never got out the basement. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But your white folk, your arrogance, you take that little thing anywhere you go. Hmm? So that's what it's about. And any time you're scared of that thug, then you just push God to the side. Hmm? Anytime you're scared of something who ain't nothing, nothing. Yes, yes. no thing. None whatsoever. And they can take him out anytime you get ready. Hmm? And anytime if they decide to do it while we're on the phone, they will. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know. So the fear that we have is our fear. It's your not fear. a real fear. That's what I said. It's if our you voted fear. for him, that's called you evil. Okay? Now, let me leave you with this. If you Google Nixon, Dick Nixon, lineage, it'll go all the way back to Babylonia, and he ain't never had no money. 
Google Rockefeller Leonard, you go to Missouri, stands, uh, Missouri, Kansas, bought it and stopped him and his brother, Frank and Jesse James. And when they killed Jesse, Frank took the money and changed the name to Rockefeller. Huh? And then they had to clean up that field. So when Nelson Rockefeller, one of the richest people ever lived, when he was governor and decided he going to run for president, but his oldest son, Michael, was gay. And back then, that's a no-no. So, so he, he disappeared. Son, huh? So he disappeared. No, no. He sent him on a business trip so the cannibals can eat him. I went over and interviewed the tribe. And all you got to do is Google it, and they'll tell you what and happened. And that's exactly what I said. He came up missing, but we all, well, you're the one that taught me that. that because I said, how could he disappear? And you said he didn't disappear. His daddy sold him to the cannibals to eat. And did you know how Rockefeller died in New York? Shot yeah. five times in the head in a hotel. Yeah. Rich, rich, rich. And the doctor that did the autopsy wasn't even licensed as a doctor in New York. He was a urologist from Philadelphia. And, and no one got to see the body. We love you, Dick Gregory. We're out of